that understand there are a lot of software that understand this Linux command. We have mobile X time, Sanguine, we have Linux SSH, we have even your Ubuntu, Linux, Ubuntu. And so now, so this is the software now I'm using. I will show you how to download how to download and install this software. Now, if this is my laptop, the, anytime you open this, it takes you to your laptop. And let's say where let's click where am I working? Now my your pw pw means like i said int working directory it says i'm in home under the mobile extra right so let's say list what is in this folder it says i have desktop launch folder and my document now i want to go to my document how do you move from one folder to another folder you know, if you are if you are clicking, you just click for you to move from one folder to another folder. Then under the Linux command, we don't call it folder; we call it directory. Directory. So if I am missing, where is what is my current folder? It says print working directory. So if I want to move, if I want to go into this doc, into this desktop now, how do I go to desktop? I will say you just type cd. Cd means change directory cd space i want to change my directory from where i am now to desktop change directory space and type desktop you have to type it it is case sensitive let's assume i i use small letter Dext, and put desktop and print enter it's not it's not good did, did it go here i think this i'm coming Okay, this which is this one is not case sensitive. Okay, but please, you may be using another software, another another and um, another software. Those ones may be case sensitive, but I think this is not case sensitive. So, if you want to just print CD, paste the name of the, of the of this folder you are going desktop, and click enter. If I should let me print WD now. It says I'm now in desktop. Can you see that? Now I'm in the desktop. What are in my desktop? You want to see the list, like list what is in the desktop. Click X list. Enter. Can you please? I want to I, I want to show you. Can you see what we have here? I have a folder called 606, right? It is called Grumax Lib. Now let me let me minimize this and let me show you my actual folder on my lap on my laptop. And I will, you will see that we have exactly what is here. Can you see? Exactly what I have here is what is listed for me. So when you are using a command line, you use command to move from one place to another place. You know, without you using your your without you clicking either your mouse or anything. You use command line. So can you see? I said change directly to the desktop. Then let me know what is in my desktop. It says this. And all this file I'm showing you are all the files that you can see here. Do you see that? That's nice. Now let's assume now I want to do another work and I need to create a new folder. How do I create a new folder? And don't forget, I said when you are working with Street, we don't call it folder, we call it directory. How do I make a new directory now? So let's say I want to make a new directory. Let's say I want to make if you want to make a new directory, we say mk means make dir directory. Make directory space. Somebody to suggest a name you should give to, 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 to the directory or folder. Please can you somebody to suggest suggest? Um, leap aim. Okay, let's give it leap aim, right? Let's leap and let's put it together aim, right? Now, before I before I will, before I go further to click enter, let me show you. There is no further call leap aim on this desktop, right? Is there any further call leap aim? No. No. Okay. Now let me press enter now. And a folder will appear with nip name.
Do we have any folder with clip name now? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Let me list. Can you see? And I'm sure the folder will be somewhere here. All these things are not that is that is why we are not seeing it. I'm sure the folder should be here. Leap in. This is this is not showing. It's on the top right, Doctor. On the top right. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, you can see, but I can't see because I have these things open on it. Okay. So, but you can see it now. And even if by the time I click LS, list, it's already there. So instead of you using this format of right clicking and go to folder that we used to do on, on graphical user interviews, we use command, do that on Linux, Unix, even by the time we start using Python, you use command. So now let's now go to that folder called libim. Let me, to go there is use cd, right? Space, leap. You can click on tap. Aim. Now, can you see now? We are now in desktop in leap. Aim. Because it's a new folder, right? Let's see if there's any. Let's type list if it will bring anything. List shows nothing. List shows ls means it ls shows that it is empty, right? It is what? It is empty. So now let's assume you want to put a test. You want to put a test and you want to, you, you want to, you want to put a test. Maybe let's say, let me say, Temi and Carenza are lip student. I want to put it in a test. In a, so how do I do that? So let me now call it, let me call that. You can, you, you can now call the, let's call the, the name of the, of the test, let's say let's call it leap. So when anytime you want to buy if you want to view, so let's let me just show you. So let's call it leap, right? Now I'll, I, I I I create the folder by using vi. Let me go out of this for you to understand. Now I want to create a document, a word document. Yes, I want to name the name of the document leap. Are you getting me? And in, in that inside that document, I want to write Temi and Carenza are lip students. Are you getting me? How do I do that? Now, what I need to do is let me first of all, I have to have a name for that text, and the name of the text is going to call it lip. Now, anytime you use the word VI, VI means view. Anytime you want to view a, a text, a document, not directly a document, a maybe word document or text. In using command, you use vi view. Now, leap the name of the document I want to create, right? Let me click enter. Now I'm now in the in the document, but because the document is new, nothing is there. When you open a new word document, when you open, do you find anything there? A new word document. By the time you open a new word document, do you find anything in, in, the, in the word document? No. No. The same thing is applicable here. They are just open that clip text document. Nothing is going to be there. Now I want to write in it now. What, what will I do? For me to be able to write Temi and Carenza are lead student, I need to click on insert or, or letter I on your on your keyboard. Is it that you click insert, or if there is no insert on your keyboard, you, you use letter I? Miss, I? Can you see the moment I click I, this change to insert. Now I can write on this test now. Me and Carenza are leap students. Do you get that now? So if you want to if you want to type anything, click enter, whatever you want to type, just put anything, anything as many you want to type, just like you're typing a normal text message, put it there, 
Just do anything you want to do. Once you are done with whatever you are typing, you know when you open a Word document and you type there, it is you must you have to save the document, isn't it? Isn't it? You save the document because yes, if sir. you log off without saving the document, that means you are not going to get the document next time. So for you to to save this inside the lib test, the first thing you are going to do so that you will not type anything is to press escape on your keyboard. Now, if I click escape, this insert will disappear. Escape. That escape means I've stopped typing. I'm no longer interested in typing anything again. Are you with me? So once that is done, the next thing is to save this. How do I save that? For you to save that, you have to first of all type colon, not semicolon, a colon. Can you see? Colon. Once you type colon, the next thing is to type small letter W and letter Q. And you put the exclamation mark by pressing shift and one. Now, for us to save this, once you finish typing, the next thing is to click escape. Once you click escape, click colon, type colon, type W, type letter Q, and exclamation mark. Once you do that, the next thing is press enter. If I should click list ls now, you will see that the folder, the text lib that we just saved now will be in this lib aim folder. Let me click enter. You see. And if you look at this place, this place, when we never when we, 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 we have never seen any file, when you click ls, it's empty. But now you already click a already spread in a, a, a document a document where we put some words and now less can you see the leaf so if i should go to the folder my word document and go to and go to leap i'm going to find this text leap in that leap in folder is it clear to us please hello yes sir so far, it's, i mean i'll say i'm getting it but it's kind of blurry right now to be honest i know i know i that's and this is just this, let me say this is just less than one percent of under percent of commands <laughs> that is available but one thing i want you to know if you want to learn coding the best way to learn coding is to practice coding these things are volatile i'm not i'm not lying to you they are volatile you can easily forget but the best thing you can do is to practice I'm going to send, I will, I will send you some videos and I will send you some, sheet, you know, a PDF sheet that, that has a summary of all these commands. I will try my best to let you know these things, but let me be sincere with you. Your own constant practice matters a lot. That is the truth. Even for people that are professor in, in this, in this regard, they learn, they learn and we learn. I'm, I'm telling you. Because this is a volatile. Yeah, that's fine. So let's if you want to see this this um this file, click leap. By if you type the first letter and you click tab, it will complete it for you. As much as there is no two files bearing the same name. So now let's click on this file. Let's view this folder now. When you click it, now can you see we have what you already saved? Isn't it? We have what you already saved. So now let's 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 put more text now. I told you for you to be able to put text, you first of all have to put to press insert or letter I on your on your on your keyboard. I so let's assume I want to add more thing. 
let's say I want to add, let's I want to, I want to add, I will be available for next leap aim meeting. Are you getting it now? So this, by the time I want to leave this place, I can, for me, if, I, if I'm done with typing, as usual, click on escape. Your column, WQ, and exclamation mark, and you click enter. This is going to save what you have here. But let's assume that this thing I, I just have here, I will be available for next leap meeting. I don't want to include it again in the folder. I decided to change my mind. I don't want to include it in this folder. I just decided to change my mind. No, there's only for me to include this statement in the leap folder, in the folder. People know that I'll be available for next week. All you need to do is just go and remove. If you want, if you, if you type in the, in, the, in the text and you don't want to, you, want, you, don't, want the, you don't want to refer the change. You will prefer the original statement. You don't. We don't want this. I will be available. Yes, that we just include. We don't want it to be there. All you have to do go and remove W from this command, and let that it will only remain long Q and exclamation mark. The moment I click enter, this statement that I just include now will not be will not be will not be saved as part of this text. So let's click enter. And let's go and look at it. So this, instead of you to type, you can just use your upper arrow. Your upper arrow will give you the list of this command you have written at the beginning of your work. So let's go and look at the file again. If I should click on this now, can you see I will be available in next leap meeting? It's no longer there because I use colon Q exclamation. If I want to save, if I want to, if I put a new test left and I want to save, that is when I'm going to use, let's say, good evening, guys. Now, I want to save this one now. Escape, go to column, WQ, exclamation, enter. Let's view it. We see that what you just put there is there now. Can you see the difference between you saving a document after you've made changes and you, you and you're not willing to save the document after you've made changes the difference is the w so when you want to save the content of the text you put you press first of all press escape to, to show that you have stopped typing put colon wq exclamation mark press enter it will save automatically if you are not interested in saving the new test, just colon Q exclamation mark. Simple. Any question? So in this case now, we are not saving anything. Just colon Q, W, Q colon, and we are out of that place. Do we have any question? Am I speaking German? No, you're not. <laughs> a, a, a little bit for me. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I'm not surprised you guys. It's, it looks like Arabic. But I can assure you, if you dedicate time to this, you will be, I know you will, you will do this even better than what I'm doing now. I'm telling you. And I want you to note, what you are seeing is just a preamble. You understand? Yeah, I, I, even, I, even, I won't be able to teach you everything on this. But I will send you videos, I will send you documents that you, and the document that you can just print and you can just you, you will know all these things. Do you get the, what I'm saying? So now let's assume now. Now you can see we are we are the folder we are working is leap, right? Hello. Yes, sir. So let's assume we want to go back to desktop folder. How do we go back there? You know, if you are using the the, the mouse stuff, you know how to click and go back to previous folder. 
But how do you go back to previous folder using this technique? All you need to do, don't forget, you are still changing directory. Change directory, CD, space, and you put two dots. What? Two dots. And you put a forward, a, a forward stroke, just one. If, because if you, leave, if, if you look at this, this two, this two mark means go this single this single and stroke means go backward a step so if it change that it will go backwards a step that means it is coming to where to desktop but if you want it to go back okay so let's let, 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 let me just do this before i go there so cd question mark two and this stroke and press enter if you look at what we have here now it means it shows that we are no longer in the leap aim, we are back to desktop. Isn't it? Hello? Yes, yes, Dr. Okay. Can you so now? So it it means we are back to leap to desktop now. So let me let's go, let me go back to leap aim again. C D, because leap aim, if you look at LS. Leap aim is here. This leap aim. So let's go to leap aim again. Aim. We are about to leap aim. So now let's assume I want to move from leap aim and come back to home directly to home. I want to go back to home directly. How many steps do we take before we get to home? Let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Isn't it? That means CD dot one. That's one. Under two, three. Did you get that? So it's going to jump from leap aim to desktop, from desktop to mobile X time, from mobile X time to home. Do we get that? Yes. So if I should click enter now, it will take us straight to home. If you want to go to mobile X time, it will only because it that has to be like one, two. That means this last one will not be there. We are going to mobile X time. But because we are going to home, it has to be TV because one we have to take TV step back. One, two, three. So let me click enter. And can you see we are what? We are in home. Let me click LX. It says you are in home. Can you see how it works? Do you get, get how it works now? Yes, sir. Okay. That's great. I'm glad you do. Now, if you want, if you want to, you know, you know, if we want, if you want to go to leap aim now, aim for that, there are two ways we can do it. We can say, let's first of all go to mobile stand and just pick. You complete tab, it will complete it. You are in mobile X time. LX, let's go to desktop. You know, you are doing one one after the other, isn't it? So, LX, in desktop, that is lip team, CD. Let's go to lip team. We are about to lip team. Are you getting me? But without, there is a way we can, if you know the parts, this is what is called parts. And anytime you are working with Linux command or any programming language, you will always come across the word part. P A T H. Just this part means the, the, the arrangement, the way. So if the part of clip aim is O, mobile X time, desktop, lip. So that is the part. So if you want to go, if let's say we are, let's go back to home. If you want to go to leap home, leap aim, without doing it one after the other, the way I'm doing it, all you need to do is to CD space type after home is mobile X time, right? Mobile X time CD. Okay, let me just mobile X time. Yes, after mobile X time is desktop, right? 
and nip him. Without you doing it one, you know why anytime I click up, it's giving me a tiny leaf and not in. Because I have another, if you look at each of them, I have another folder that, that has ordinary leaf. So if you have, if, when you click tab, it will give you the one that is shorter. So I have to type in now. So if I should click enter now, instead of me doing it one after, the, one after the other, the way I did it here, it will take me automatically because I already put the part. That means CD to mobile X time. From mobile X time, go to desktop. To desktop, now go to leap. Enter. Can you see automatically? Automatically. Any question? No question, Dr. Okay. Any addition, subtraction, multiplication? But are you guys, I know you may not, you may not understand it now, but if you watch the video again and other little video, I'm going to share the link with you. I can assure you, you are going, you are going to get this. This is just the ABC, the elementary of the coding stuff we are about to do. I'm telling you. And this is what is called a bash script, a bash language. They call it B-A-S-H. This is called a bash language or a bash script. Do you get the point now? So, any question? So let's go to this folder, ls, leap. This leap is a text. So let's assume now this leap, and we are not interested, we want to delete it, just like you delete any document in, the, in your Word document. You want to delete it. How do you delete this text, this text? To delete this, all you just need to do is to put rm, that I am stand for remove space and put the name of the test leap. So if I should press enter now, it will automatically delete this leap test from this food from the leap aim folder directly. Let me press enter. Let me click ls. Can you see anything there again? You know, when we put ls here, we have leap, but now we have removed it. When we put ls, can you see anything? Nothing. It is gone. Because we already removed that. So let's go. How, how, you, how you delete a, a text is different from how you delete a folder. Because most of the time, when the folder has document inside, okay, let me let me go. Let me let me let's go back to desktop. Just one step. Desktop. Okay, I think can you see because I use more escape sensitive says no such file or directory because I use small letter D. When I was supposed to use capital letter D, it is case sensitive. C D. What is it saying? Desktop. No such file or directory. Okay. Come see, Jimmy, we want to use at times this thing you are typing and giving is giving you something else. It's not so directly. What do you mean? PWD, okay. Leap, CD, that. Stop. Why is saying it's already directly? Okay. Okay. CD. X 
custom what is minus this but then this can be okay i think i know what happened let me go to okay, okay. desktop all right so now we are back to desktop now so if you want to remove this folder okay let me let me let me, let me try i don't which folder am i not using that as some okay now when you want to remove a folder let me let's you also use the word rm to remove a folder but if there are, if there are content in that folder it's likely not to remove let me let, let's let me let me do for this folder yes now look at this i want to remove this folder this is a folder a directory on the desktop that i name scb when i click remove scb what is the response can somebody read it for me scb is a directory scb is a directory that means you cannot use ordinary remove delete directory it says this is a directory you cannot that you cannot you cannot use remove and simply because there are some documents in this c csb let me try let me try if that i think it should be able to work if there is no document in the in the in the directory there's no document in our lib aim let's see if that's let's see if that's going to work lib aim not in the aim it says it's not going to work so how do you delete a, a folder a directory all you need to do is rm and put asterisk shift eight asterisk and type the name of the folder this is the command not found okay because it wants me, it wants me to install rm can be installed using the command apt is okay i'm i'm going to i'm going to show you 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 guys you are in for a lot of things <laughs> i'm going to show you something is it this software there are some command that is not going to work on it until you install some softwares and one good thing about this command one good thing about programming language there are some app that when you encounter a problem it will tell you this is the problem you have encountered and this is the likely solution you are supposed you are to take to you to, to to make use of it if you look at what i did now i use the word rm asterisk and delete it says i cannot use it because the the application that makes use of that command has not been installed on this software on this bash uh, uh, mobile x time application that i'm using it now says if let me let, let me let me show you that can you see command not found this command is not found because this inhm has not been installed and it says if i want to install this command i should, I should type this apt get install hmh and once i do the installation this command should be able to work and that is what i did here i type this enter it asked me do you want to continue or any other key to it it says type y type y if you want to continue and it automatically installed that so let's go and try that command again to remove this let's see if it's going to work now it still says the same thing that it's not working I, it says the same thing it says it's not working now let me say this if you are using linux command i saw the terminal command on, on ios this problem is not going to happen except that that we ask you to your sudo password anybody that has been using the ios terminal before you know you know what i mean by the word sudo 
password on the iOS terminal. Are you getting me? But there is another, another, some other softwares we not require this before this can be done. For example, if I'm using a Unix, Unix commands, I have on this laptop, apart from this mobile X time, I also install another, this, uh, what is called Linux Ubuntu, Ubuntu on this, on this laptop. And what that is what I can advise people that are using Windows. You can install Ubuntu Linux Ubuntu on your on your laptop using VirtualBox. VirtualBox is but your laptop must be a big laptop with good hard disk. That is the that is the situation. So because of this, this command is not going to work now. And don't let us stress ourselves on it. Just take note of this. By the time you get any other soft laptop, you should, you should be able to do this perfectly. So anytime you want to delete a, a, a directory, a directory or a folder, this is the command that you use. But I don't know why this is not working on this now. Any question before we proceed? So let's just look at some other, other thing we can we, we can any question. Any question? Hello. I do not have any question, Dr. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to send you a video that has a full list of this of all these commands. And at the same time, I'm going to send you, I think I will send you and I will put a link on the on on the on, on our uh, what is it on the youtube video on the youtube and um, description so that anytime you visit it you can you can have it there i will put the link also i will put it there so that you can practice this this week i'm not going to give you any assignment except that if you have not submitted the assignment i gave to you last week you have to submit that before monday and tell me, please. I believe you are taking us and uh, you are taking attendance for this for this group. Yes, are you I doing that? Yes, sir. okay. Yeah, because that attendance will be sub. I need, to, I need to submit that attendance at the end of the opening. So I'm. I will send. I will send you the video. You will install this, and I'm thinking maybe if I think maybe we are everybody's on campus. I can probably show you how to install in Linux on your on desktop. Because that takes a process. It takes a lot of process anyway. So anyway, that's fine. I'm going to send you this. And uh, like I said earlier, this is just a snippet. It's just a tip of the iceberg of what you are going to you are going to see. This is just a few commands. There are a lot, lot, lot of commands. But the basic thing is for you to understand the basic of this thing. And you can get, you can really get a lot. Let, 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 let me share, let me show you, let me, let's go to, let me show you something. Let me show you bash script. Bash script PDF. PDF. Yeah, this is this is a basket document. So this is a bash but this is this is too, let, let, let me don't I don't know I won't send this to you. This is too much. This is more of advanced. Let me look for okay. I'm coming and I'm looking for I will only I will look for this a simpler one that you don't need to, this is too much. I should be able to get a simpler one for you guys that you can I think I should have one if I should if I should go back to my to my folder about script for beginner. Let me say about script for beginner. Let me 
I'm looking for something. I don't want you to get to this level for now. Let me just look for something that is not that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to search for that anyway, and I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send that to you. I'm going to send that to you. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. Let me let me do something. Let, let me let me just show you how to let me show you how to install the how to how to install this software then. Let me show you how to install this software. Okay. You can if you are on if you are online you can click on this. Click on I, I want to share this link so you can click. You can click on this and um, where is the chat? Yeah, click on this link so to be able to, to download this software. Yeah. But well, if I should do that now, I will have to uninstall my my okay. If you have access, please click on that. Let me just guide you through how to how to install this. Control B. Okay. Do you do you, see, do you do you have this on your desktop? Hello. Hello. I'm about to check it right now. See if I can get that. Yeah. So when when you click on that link, this is what you are going to. You, you will see this page. If you want to get a more professional one, you if you are ready to be paying to pay $69 per year, you can get, but if you are not, you can just get the free, home, the free home edition. Just click on it, download, it was, I think, yeah, download previous stable version, download this. So these are the new versions. So even probably I myself, I'm going to install that and see. So is there a difference between the portable and the installer edition? Because I have Mac, so I'm trying to figure out which one would be best for me to download. Which one is that? I have Mac, so I'm trying to figure out if I should do portable or if I should do installer edition. You have Mac? Yes, sir. You don't need to, you don't need to install anything. Mac has a terminal already. Okay. Have you ever used a terminal on your Mac before? No. Okay. Mark has a terminal already. You don't need to. You don't need that for Mark. Okay, thank you. Go to go to where you type where you where you search for application. Type terminal. Okay, just a second. Yes, just type terminal. It should be. It should bring terminal. It will bring it for you. Mark or if you are, if you are using Mark, there's no need for you to install this. Mark already has terminal. This is just for people that are using Windows. So once you, if you are able to, have you, have you downloaded this? Click on the mobile, the, the, the table, and once you get it, if you to a folder, click on the folder, and click on, it says, I, I just want to run. It will upgrade the one I'm having now. Or maybe I should, I should have probably uninstalled this one. So yes. if we have a Mac laptop or computer, we don't have to download this? Yes, if you have Mac, you don't have to download. There's a terminal. If you go and look, go to your application site and type terminal, Mac will give you that. You will see terminal. It will show you something like, like a, a sign of uh, maybe greater than or smaller or lesser than. It will, it will give you terminal. You can click on it. So let me let me uninstall the mobile X time I have on my on my so I can show you how to how to install this. I want you to please take time and do this and let me know what how far you've gone on that next week. Let me go to yes, mobile X time. I need to install okay. Let me uninstall this one so I can install the latest one. 
on his three years. If you have any problems with the download, let me know. And Kamenza, do you have have you seen the terminal on your on your Mac? Yes, sir. I already opened it. Okay. So if you open it and you are doing what you just did, what I just described now, you will see it will give you take it to your desktop, LS, PWD, all those things, you should be able to do it. If you are using Mac, there's no need for you to install this software. Okay. So once you download and see, I just downloaded that now. The portable, double click on the zip folder it gives to you and double click on the mobile X and personal underscore 20.0 application. Now, finally installed. It has been installed for me. It seems to be straightforward. Very straightforward. Can you see? I just finished that. Are you, is anybody having problem doing that? Anybody having problem doing that? No problem, Doctor. Okay. So have you downloaded and installed? Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's good. What about others? I only, I'm only hearing from them most of the time when I ask questions. Everybody decides to to be moved. What happened? Hey, I'm not supposed to stop here. 